Hello and welcome to Circa 1990. I'm Greg and I am the artist creating this piece. This design is a houndstooth pattern and it is designed to emulate the weft and weave of the loom that creates one of these patterns. So what I've done is I've drawn it out and measured it and I'm just now cutting it. And this is to carve the area where I don't want any ink laying down, it needs to be empty. So I carefully carve it and gouge it with a very deep lino cut piece. And then I change the end and I use different piece which will then level the bottom of all these cuts and take off any high points. And that means no ink should get onto the print block. To stop any, uh, any stray cuts, I gouge very thin lines into the edge of the design and this will prevent my lino blade cutter to, from carrying on when I'm creating the cut lines. When there's just horizontal thread, I want to create horizontal or vertical lines, but when they cross over and inter interweave, then I create a hash design. So I've drawn on there lots of layers of lines which I can follow to create my cuts. Here's the uh, finished piece, so you can see where, the, where the, the weaving crosses, and we'll leave these little raised bumps like a waffle. And now I start the printing process. So I lay down some ink, and I need to get this spread over the roller nice and thinly and in an even coating. And for a liner print this size, I do actually need to put in quite a lot of ink. I've cleaned off the lino print block, but there are some little pieces which get caught up in the ink as it lifts, and that does leave a couple of spots on the initial print which I quickly sort out. I adjust my printing press to make sure there's a really good heavy tension on the, uh, on the block, and that leaves a nice indent into the paper. It also gives a really good surface area to print the image from the block onto the piece. You can see there that I'm struggling a little bit to turn the handle, but that's because there's a really heavy, high friction in the, uh, in the printing roller, which is giving really good printing of the ink. And of course, the big reveal. Do you see those spots? I, they will disappear in the next print. Here's a close-up of the lino print and you can see where the little cut raise marks get picked up by the ink. You can see the imprints on the paper. And this is some of my favourite viewpoints. Showing the sort of mirrored reflection of the ink print. So here are the finished designs. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you really like this, then give it a thumbs up. And if you love it, maybe think about subscribing. Thank you for watching.